Welcome back. Do you remember your first crush? The awkward fumbles? The nervous butterflies? We've all been there. But what happens when the butterflies fade? This video explores the ups and downs, the triumphs and heartbreaks of how to love from teenage infatuation to mature connection. A transformative journey that transcends the boundaries of conventional wisdom and delves into the intricate landscape of the heart. Today, we embark on a quest to unravel the secrets of one of the most profound and elusive emotions known to humanity, love. In the pages that follow, we will explore the depths of connection, the nuances of passion, and the mysteries that make love both an art and a science. The book was published in 2014 by Thich Nhat Hanh and became so famous that its three more editions and the expanded version was also published later. So let's start this love teaching journey. Chapter 1 is The Foundations of Love. Thich Nhat Hanh lays the groundwork for our journey by emphasizing the importance of self-love. In a world often filled with distractions and external demands, he invites readers to return to themselves, to cultivate a deep sense of compassion and understanding understanding for their own being. Through mindfulness exercises and guided meditations, the first chapter serves as a gentle entry point into the exploration of love, encouraging readers to become intimately acquainted with their own hearts before extending that love outward. Chapter 2 is Understanding the Nature of Suffering. Love, Thich Nhat Hanh asserts, cannot exist in isolation from suffering. This chapter delves into the interconnectedness of love and suffering, emphasizing the need to embrace our pain and that of others with compassion. By acknowledging suffering as an inherent part of the human experience, the book challenges conventional notions of love as purely joyous and reveals its transformative power in the face of adversity. Chapter 3. Cultivating Compassion Compassion, the heartbeat of love, takes center stage in this chapter. Thich Nhat Hanh explores the practice of metta, or loving-kindness meditation, as a means of expanding our capacity for compassion. Through poignant anecdotes and practical exercises, he guides readers in cultivating a genuine and and open-hearted compassion that extends not only to those close to us, but to all beings. This chapter serves as a gentle but powerful call to embrace the universal nature of love. Chapter 4 is Loving Through Understanding. Thich Nhat Hanh encourages readers to engage in active listening and deep communication as essential components of love. By fostering understanding in our relationships, we can dissolve misunderstandings and conflicts, paving the way for a more profound connection. This chapter provides practical tools for enhancing communication skills and fostering fostering empathy, ensuring that love thrives in an atmosphere of mutual understanding. Chapter 5 is The Art of Deep Listening. In this chapter, the Zen master introduces the art of deep listening as a transformative practice. He explores how listening with presence and intention can break down barriers and create a space for true connection to flourish. Through anecdotes from his own life and teachings, Thich Nhat Hanh illustrates the profound impact of deep listening in relationships, illuminating its role in fostering love and and understanding. Chapter 6 is Nourishing Healthy Relationships. Building upon the principles of deep understanding and compassionate communication, this chapter delves into the importance of nourishing healthy relationships. Thich Nhat Hanh emphasizes the significance of mindfulness in daily interactions, urging readers to be fully present with their loved ones. Through practical exercises and reflections, he guides us in creating a foundation for lasting and fulfilling relationships, emphasizing the role of love as a daily practice. Chapter 7 is the transformative power of mindfulness. Mindfulness, a cornerstone of Thich Nhat Hanh's teachings, takes center stage in this chapter. He explores how the practice of mindfulness can illuminate the path to love by fostering awareness in every moment. From mindful breathing to being fully present in daily activities, readers are guided to integrate mindfulness into their lives, cultivating a heightened sense of love and appreciation for the richness of each moment. Chapter 8 is Letting Go and Freeing ourselves. Love, as Thich Nhat Hanh articulates, requires the ability to let go. This chapter explores the art of releasing attachments and expectations, allowing love to flow freely. Through mindfulness practices and reflections on impermanence, he guides readers in embracing the fluid nature of love, freeing themselves from the shackles of clinging and enabling love to evolve organically. The last in chapter 9 is Love in Action, Engaged Buddhism. Thich Nhat Hanh extends the exploration of love beyond 
beyond personal relationships to the broader context of societal and global interconnectedness. He introduces the concept of engaged Buddhism, emphasizing the role of love in promoting social justice, compassion, and understanding. By weaving love into the fabric of our actions and advocating for positive change, readers are encouraged to contribute to a more compassionate and interconnected world. Some important lessons we have learned from this book are number one, self-love as a foundation. Vich Nhat Han emphasizes cultivating a deep sense of compassion and understanding for oneself, recognizing that self-love forms the essential groundwork for meaningful connections with others. Number two, embracing suffering with compassion. Love is intimately intertwined with suffering, and by acknowledging and embracing our own pain and that of others, we open the door to a more profound and compassionate experience of love. Number three, cultivating universal compassion. Through practices like meta meditation, the book teaches us to expand our capacity for compassion, fostering a love that extends beyond personal relationships to embrace all beings. Number four, deep listening as a bridge to understanding. Vich Nhat Han highlights the transformative power of deep listening, emphasizing its role in breaking down barriers and fostering genuine understanding in relationships. Number five, mindfulness in daily interactions. Love is a daily practice and in incorporating mindfulness into our lives from breathing exercises to being fully present enriches our connections and enhances the quality of our relationships number six letting go for unrestricted love the ability to let go of attachments and expectations is crucial for love to flow freely the book teaches us the art of releasing allowing love to evolve organically without constraints number seven love in action engaged buddhism beyond personal relationships vich Nhat han encourages us to manifest love in our actions by engaging with the world with compassion and contributing to positive social change, embodying love on a broader scale. Friends, how to love isn't a final answer, but a first step. It's a seed you plant within, nurtured by mindfulness and compassion. As it grows, you'll discover love isn't just a feeling, but a way of being, present, understanding, forgiving. Remember, love's journey starts today with every breath, every kind word, every step towards a more connected world. So close this book, Open your heart and start loving. Peace begins with you. That's all for today. Hope the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.